My name is Simon Kerljean. The essence of the story uh, is about a young man who's looking for something. It's about a man who finds love and loses her. And it's, it's a tragedy. It's a proper tragedy. And then his world crumbles a bit when the first um, criticism comes in and he starts to question himself. Distant, removed, precise, impersonal. Doesn't somehow connect. The things that are in it are the real proper human fear of death, the fear of losing love, the fear of losing yourself. You know, it's the story that we all need to go through for ourselves. This idea for Death's Cabaret, a love story, happened about two years ago. And I put it to Stephen Deasley, the composer, and then we put it to Martin Riley, the writer. Matthew had challenged us with a a phrase that had come into his head, an idea that had come into his head, which was Cabaret Concerto. Death's favourite dance, so I'm told, is the dance of the seven veils. Dance! We knew the kind of thing we wanted to write for him, that used ideas from cabaret and storytelling, that was like a kind of ancient form, in that it's bardic. And when you dip into folktale and fairy tale, you dip into the psyche and you dip into fear and death and love and all of those proper human things. Thereafter, I chat to the Sokoni Quartet about this idea and uh, fantastically, they all were very excited by it. And so here we are two years down the line doing it. Great. Death will be here in our own good time. Meanwhile, it's a marriage, in essence, of two forms, a kind of collision of the grime and sensuality of cabaret with concerto. It's lean, it's beautiful, it's very distinctive, and uh, reaches the past.